Hello, I'm Diana McCarricker, and I'm a member of the Quadra Island branch of the Vancouver Island Regional Library System, and I'm proud to have been a Quadra Library member for 41 years. What was your favorite book as a child? The Wind in the Willows by Scottish author Kenneth Graham. I have very fond memories of my mum reading that aloud to me with such lively expression that each of the little characters came to life. What's a recent book you've read? I recently enjoyed Dolly Bird by Anne Lazurka. She is a Canadian writer from Saskatchewan and she wrote, this is her first novel, and it was set in the prairies in 1906, telling the story of a young woman who comes to make a new life for herself there. What other resources do you use from the library? Well, the best resource at the Quadra Island branch is our amazing staff. Uh, our circulation supervisor, Barb, and the library assistants, Tracy and Lisa, know their clients really well and they're great at making suggestions of books or films you might enjoy. They make the library a very warm and welcoming place. I've used tech support to learn how to um, load books onto a Kobo and later to get books on my iPad from Matt. He gives private lessons on these things and it's a great help. I um, I read the Globe and Mail and Maclean's book reviews to get ideas of things I might like to read and I order them from the library and I'll take them as ebooks, audiobooks, or books, whatever comes the fastest. I enjoy the library access to RB Digital and Hoopla to watch movies or documentaries and I'm a member of two book clubs on the island so we use the library quite a bit to get books. I regularly attend the author nights at our local branch and I was especially proud this year when my eldest son came to give a presentation. He published his first book and presented to a big audience of 30 people. He has literally grown up in the Quadra Island Library. When he was a baby, he, I pushed him in a buggy down to the bookmobile when it was in Harriet Bay and finally he was has been presenting at our lovely new branch in Kwathiaski Cove. How do you think your life story affects your relationship with the types of books you're drawn to? Well, my mother shaped my reading life um, from listening to her read as a child to her suggesting titles for me to read as a teen. And sometimes these were classics like to Kill a Mockingbird, which I've even gone back and reread twice since then, but it was always really good literature that she was steering me towards. I like to read stories about women's lives and depending on my the stage of my life, earlier it was parenting books I was reading at, in nonfiction and lately it's grandparenting books. I like fiction about women's lives. I like taking out children's books and I read them aloud to, for my grandson who lives in England. I either do it on Zoom or on, on a little movie like this and um, it's the only way I can read aloud to him with the distance involved. I use books as eye candy sometimes. I'm a knitter and a quilter and it's just wonderful to go and take out quilting books or knitting books and look at them even if I don't make something just to look at the pictures is really wonderful. We've recently adopted a more vegetarian diet and I find great inspiration from the cookbooks in the library and then if I really like one, I will buy it. So that's another way I use the library. What does the library mean to you? Our Quadra Island branch is the hub of our community. In Latin American countries, there's a Sokolo where people walk around and chat with their neighbors and socialize. And we don't have that here and in the rainy winters it's sorely missed. And the library fills that function a bit for us. We can go there to see other people, to chat with the staff, to um, get new books. 
is just a wonderful gathering place. People, uh, groups also use the library. There's a spinners and knitters group that sits there and um, spins. And there's a group of lively young preteens who play a complicated sort of card game, board game. I'm not sure what it is, but the, the place is just humming with excitement when they're in there. Um, the computers are always in use. There's an ongoing jigsaw puzzle table. Our library was a sad loss when with the COVID-19 shutdown and people were just thrilled when even curbside service was reinstated. Um, we really love our library here. How did having access to the library support your role as an educator? Well, I often use the library to get uh, professional resources or to get more books about a particular theme that I was doing as a primary teacher. And when I taught at Quadra Elementary School, I loved walking down from the school to the library. Everybody would pick out a couple books. We'd take them all back to the classroom and we could keep them for a couple weeks and then walk back and do it all again. That was a wonderful experience.